Um, the whole purpose of that trip was to have a, a lesson on how sin bins are going to be operated for us next season. And it's a compulsory uh, course of action. We haven't got a choice as a, as a league. Um, sin bins will be coming into operation at our game and at any um, step seven or below mandatory uh, for the 2019-20 season. And the reason for having to go over there uh, was it had to be given on a face-to-face -face meeting. And bear in mind, all counties in the UK uh, have been at these meetings. Um, for example, on the one I was at, there were people obviously from the London southern area, but they were also <laughs> travelling down from Lancashire, etc. And I was querying why we couldn't do it over WebEx. I was quite politely told why we couldn't in that the instruction was face to face and that's how every county would be delivering it. Because it is, if you think about it, a really key thing that's going to be introduced for us next season. It's major. It's absolutely major. Um, so that was that was the, ra the reason for, for, for spending my two days down there. Um, Probably what I'd like to do this evening is is um, is trying to condense it a little bit, and and just to give hopefully um, some flavour for for clubs, referees, etc. Um, what they what this isn't a thing that's just happened yesterday. They they started this process in March 2017, where the International Football Association board um, agreed um, that this could be introduced. Now at that particular time they were actually saying, well, you can either do it on all cautions or selected cautions. So the English Football Association said, Ooh, don't like the all cautions bit. But what we do like is the fact that we could pick out dissent. So as a, as a, as a yellow card, as we all know, they went for dissent specifically and forget all the other yellow cards. They carry on as they are. So if you trip someone, foul tackle, get reckless challenge, it's a yellow card as it stands. But dissent now, um, well, next season, will result in a, a Simbin uh, situation. So what they did after March 2017 in the UK, they selected 31 leagues and they went off on their merry way doing this. OK, um, results were very, very, um, very interesting because what what the what the attempt was. And let's let's take it. Why did they take dissent? We know about the respect program. But it was part of it, really. Is, is how can we re-energize that respect? Just to jump in here, hmm. is this an admission by the FA that the respect campaign has failed? Not so much that the respect campaign has failed, but a, but a, 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 certainly an acknowledgement that we needed to do a bit more. Uh, and I get that, and I think that's that's a very fair comment. Um, so just again, a, a few facts for people. For the 2016-17 season, I hasten to add, this is not the Isle of Man, so this is the whole of the UK, um, there were 73,500 cautions for dissent. And that actually resulted in 25% of all cautions. Incredible figure. And I think if we think about it on the Isle of Man, we would probably have the same number. 72,000. <laughs> not quite. <laughs> the 25% of our small amount. <laughs> and, but, but, but then putting those figures down, because... Um, 135,000 matches they've looked at on, on these pilot schemes now. And it actually is averaging about one a game. OK. Um, and the chances of it happening in the same 10 minute period are actually very remote. Now, that's facts because they've, they've actually got all the detail from from these matches, Chris. I suppose it's a bit like when people say if you give a penalty, uh, for people manhandling each other in the box, then that would wipe it out fairly quickly. The players would get the message. Um, I think that there are question marks over what exactly constitutes dissent, and that might seem a bit um, silly to some, but is it just uh, an off-the-cuff remark when you, you make a mistake or you disagree with a decision, or is it having a right go at the official to the point where he yep. thinks, well, that is uh, a line that's been crossed? I mean, it's a very good question. And, and actually what came out on this particular course is, is that there is a lack of understanding from players and managers about what dissent actually is. And um, so the question is, is very, very valid um, because some people was, were saying, um, oh, if you if you kick the ball away, that's dissent. Uh, potentially, yes, it could be, but it is also actually delaying a restart. So it depends in the context of what that dissent is. And similarly, you have to remember all this. It's in the opinion of the match referee on the day. So I, I take your point. You know, 
somebody who's come up to me and said, hey, Kevin, um, you're getting a bit slow, you're fat, so you need to try and keep up with play a bit more. I may well class that as dissent. Um, another one of my colleagues may say, um, yeah, well, you're not doing too bad yourself either and, and, and may not treat that. So what I'm saying is, although I would class it as dissent, my other colleague won't. We will always have that little grey area. Surely therein lies the problem, though, and that is why so many people on the other man concerned with Manx football do take umbrage with some decisions because they see that as a lack of consistency. Is this something that needs to be uh, drilled into all match officials across the Isle of Man that from now on in, if certain things are said or something happens that that does constitute dissent and you you should receive a sin bin or what what is the card called? It it, it, it is just a yellow card and it is a tolerance level, Chris, and and I'm afraid I think that's the beauty of our game is that it is an opinion and is a tolerance level of us all. What I would hate to do is say to you, there is 1,000 situations where you must show this yellow card. And here's another 1,000 situations where you can't. You can't do that because that's the beauty of it. It's at that moment, at that time, and it's the context of it. So, you know, in the heat of the moment, um, if someone gives you a blast, the likelihood is you are going to show a yellow card for dissent.